We are all familiar with the Doppler effect as the change in frequency or pitch from high to low as a siren or horn passes by you. This object is stationary and it is emitting sound that travels outward at the speed of sound. These concentric circles mark successive wave crests. The wavelength is the distance between successive wave crests. This listener is moving toward the source and encountering a greater number of wave crests per second. This apparent shift in the frequency of wave crests per second is the Doppler effect. The listener encounters fewer wave crests per second when moving away from the source. The shift occurs whether the source or the listener is moving. The listener is sometimes referred to as the detector. A stationary source emits a frequency f. When the source or detector is moving, the apparent frequency f prime is the Doppler shifted frequency. In solving Doppler effect questions, we use the rule that if the source or detector is trying to move toward the other, then the shifted frequency f prime is increased. This is the equation for the Doppler shifted frequency f prime. It depends on the speed of the detector and the speed of the source and the speed of sound v, which is 343 meters per second in air at standard temperature and pressure. This equation is the ratio of a numerator and a denominator. There are two ways to make the ratio larger. You can either increase the numerator or decrease the denominator. There are two ways to make the ratio smaller. You can either decrease the numerator or increase the denominator. The source emits frequency f equal 2000 hertz and it is moving at 40 meters per second away from the detector. The detector is moving toward the source at 50 meters per second. At this moment, the speed of sound is 340 meters per second. What is the Doppler shifted frequency f prime heard by the listener? We write the Doppler equation and then fill in the numbers, leaving the plus and minus signs to choose in a moment. In the ratio of velocities, the units cancel, but each of the velocities has to be expressed in the same unit of measure for example, in meters per second. Next, we choose either the positive or the negative sign separately in the numerator and the denominator. First, look at the numerator, which contains the velocity of the detector. The detector is trying to move toward the source, and this will increase that prime. We make the ratio larger by choosing the plus sign in the numerator. Next, look at the denominator, which contains the velocity of the source. The source is trying to move away from the detector, and this will decrease f prime. So we choose the plus sign in the denominator to make the ratio smaller. The Doppler shifted frequency f prime is 1816 Hz. In solving Doppler shift problems, we first fill in the three velocities and then choose plus or minus sign in the numerator and denominators. In the first problem, both objects were moving to the right. The only thing different in this problem is that both objects are moving toward each other. In the Doppler shift equation, we fill in the frequency and the velocities and then choose the plus or minus signs. First, looking in the numerator, which involves the speed of the detector. The detector is trying to move toward the source and increase the shifted frequency. To make the ratio larger, we choose the plus sign in the numerator. Next, we look at the velocity of the source, which occurs in the denominator. The source is moving toward the other trying to increase the frequency f prime. So we choose the minus sign in the denominator to make the ratio larger. And the calculation gives 
2600 hertz. In this third example, both the source and detector are moving away from each other. So both are trying to decrease the shifted frequency F prime. For the velocity of the detector, which occurs in the numerator, we choose the minus sign to make the ratio smaller. For the velocity of the source, which occurs in the denominator, we choose the plus sign to make the ratio smaller. And the calculation gives 1526 hertz. In this fourth example, we have the last possible combination of velocities. This time with the source chasing the detector. The detector is trying to move away, decrease F prime, so we want to make the ratio smaller by choosing the minus sign in the numerator. The source is trying to move toward the detector and trying to increase the ratio and the detected frequency F prime. So we choose the minus sign in the denominator. And the calculation gives 1933 hertz. Now that you've had some practice operating the Doppler shift equation, its derivation will make more sense. This equation works only for sound waves and only when the source and detector are moving along the same line. The equation will be different if one object moves at an angle to the other. And the equation is different again in the case of the Doppler effect for light waves. For one last point, when the sound waves from this source encounter the material of the detector, say the surface of a car, that surface is made to oscillate with the Doppler shifted frequency F prime. The oscillating surface in turn radiates its own sound. Now it is acting as the source. The original source detects a return frequency that has been twice shifted, which you might write as F double prime. But now the roles of source and detector have been swapped. 